Hey, this is Malcolm341. In this video, we're going to look at some Maya modeling tricks and secrets. So today we're going to look at duplicate with transform, deleting edges and verts at the same time, and how to remove unknown nodes, which can be a huge pain. So let's get into it. Okay, so let's check out uh, duplicate with transform, which is a super cool tool that is uh, great for doing a bunch of different uh, tricks, actually. So uh, first thing that you want to do here is uh, we're going to build a little staircase just to show an example of the tool. And so what I need to do first is hold down v D and the V key at the same time, and then middle mouse drag to uh, snap the pivot point of the object just down to that corner. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to press Control D to duplicate the object. And then I'm going to hold down V and I'm going to snap it up here. And so we've got a bit of transform there. I'm going to switch to the rotate tool and then I'm going to rotate it just like, let's say there, for example. And now what I can do is I can press shift D on the keyboard and you'll see what happens. Each time I press shift D, it's going to apply that last transform that I did. So you can actually build a little spiral staircase uh, really quickly, uh, which is super handy for just a bunch of different stuff. If you're wondering where that menu item is, if you don't want to use the hotkey, it's under Edit and just Duplicate with Transform. And you can see there's the hotkey there, Shift D. OK, and here is one more example of that tool in action, which is also really cool. Uh, so first here, I'm just going to do the DV trick again and snap that to the point uh, right there on the bigger cylinder. And then what I'm going to do is going to do D and V plus middle mouse drag again to snap the pivot point here. And the reason that I want to do that is because I want to rotate around this object perfectly. And so um, I've got, uh, what is it, a 12-sided cylinder here. And I want to get one of these guys on each one of these edges. And so how we can figure that out is uh, with a little bit of math, actually. So the first thing that you can do is you can select the edges there. And instead of counting them, you can go into display heads up display, and then you can go into poly count, whoops, there it is. Uh, and you can see under edges, I have 12 selected uh, right there. So I know there's 12. And so how you can do the math then is, uh, let's just go into the calculator. And uh, uh, we know that the uh, circumference of this or whatever the total Edge length is uh, 360 degrees because it's a cylinder. So you go 360 in the calculator, and then you just divide by 12 edges. And that gives you a number of 30. And so that means every rotation value of 30 is going to be exactly where one of these edges lies. OK, so then you can select your mesh and press Control D to duplicate. And then rotate along Y exactly 30 degrees. And from there, you can press Shift D. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Boom! And there you've got a perfect uh, an array rotation uh, that matches up with your cylinder. So this is a pretty cool tool. Um, you can use it to do all sorts of different things. You can even use it to actually just um, kind of create like a straight line here. So again, I'm just going to snap the pivot here. Control D, snap it there, and then just Shift D. Boom, 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 boom. Make a straight line. And then uh, you can do some pretty interesting things that you probably won't use all that often. But you could actually duplicate it, move it, and scale it. So you can do crazy stuff like this as well. Shift D, Shift D, Shift D, Shift D. So uh, yeah, pretty awesome. OK, next up, deleting edges and verts at the same time. Um, so basically, you will want to do this more often than not. So let me just jump into the multi-cut tool here and just add an edge loop there. And so uh, what Maya does by default is when you have multiple edges selected, let's say I want to delete these, and you press the delete key, everything looks good. But if you go into vert mode, you'll notice it actually left the verts behind. Uh, so uh, this is actually really e easy to uh, fix here. So I'm just going to hit undo. There we go. So instead of hitting the delete key, if you hit uh, control plus the delete key, it will actually take those edges with it, which is super handy. Uh, you can also use backspace and control backspace to do the same functionality if you like, which I think is how it works in Max. Uh, and then the one that I use is actually just through the marking menu because I don't like to move my hands off the keyboard. So I just go shift right click and say delete edge. And when you say delete edge, it will take the verts with it automatically. So that's also pretty handy. All right, let's look at the unknown nodes thing. 
So uh, basically, uh, what these are is um, you might have an older scene or maybe a scene that you got from somebody else, or perhaps you had a plugin in installed or whatever, and you've saved the scene and you go to open it and then you try to save it and it will complain about unknown nodes. So here, I'm just going to, this is a really old scene that I built a long time ago. And I believe the issue is I uh, used mental ray at the time, which used to come with Maya. It no longer comes with Maya. You get Arnold instead. And so Maya has no idea what a mental ray node is. So I'm going to show you the problem here. So I'm going to go and I'm going to go file, save as, and I want to save this as, uh, as an MV file. And I'm going to say, whatever, it doesn't matter the name. I'm going to say YouTube and hit OK. And it's going to give me this error. It's going to say file contains unknown nodes or data, and you can't change the file type. And it's just super annoying. You'll like get super mad, and you, you don't know what the heck's going on. You just It won't let you save the file. It's going to come up with all these annoying errors and stuff, and it's just going to be really painful. And there's actually a super easy way to fix this. And uh, what you do is you go into the file menu, and then you go into optimize scene size. You go into the options box for optimize scene size. And don't hit apply because it's going to apply all this stuff, which might delete some stuff out of your scene that you don't want. But you just go down here and you find, where is it? Unknown nodes. And you don't even have to tick it on. That's for the apply. All you have to do is click the optimize now button. It's just going to give you a warning saying like it can't undo this. So it's going to get rid of it for sure and say OK. And that's it. It's done. And then now watch here when I go and do file save as and same thing. YouTube, save it, and boom, everything's fine. Those unknown nodes are gone, and your scene is clean, and you can do whatever you want with your scene. If you like this video and want to see more game art tips and tricks, please click the subscribe button. As usual, any links will be in the description. If you got any questions, post them in the comments area. Thanks for watching, everybody. Have a delightful day.